Hello YouTube, apologies beforehand, I started up one shot before I started recording, so the music's going to be a little bit off, but hopefully it doesn't matter too much. Anyways, yes, I'm going to be playing one shot, this should be my second episode, I have no idea when this is going to be uploaded. Um, I'm going to try and start uploading higher quality content, mostly with commentary from here forward, I think. Of course, none of it's going to be edited. Oh, what do you think I am? Made out of time? Anyway. Please hit me up if you want to edit all of my videos for free. <laughs> no, no payment. I don't get money for doing this either. Anyways. Gilligord, are you still there? Yes. Ah, uh, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw you did? Wow. I, I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back. Oh, the sun back in my home is a Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Uh, I guess not. You're really the god of this world. You wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Earth. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? Yes. Wow, I can't imagine what that's like. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? Maybe. The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything goes dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world is like that, too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep usually, but some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? Me. There's a bunch of them in this world. When I originally read that, I thought this person was talking about, like, people who stay up at night and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? But Nico was actually talking about, like, computers, not the people who stay up and use them at night. So not me, but computers. I'm a I'm a YouTuber. That's that's what I do. I'm a you I'm a professional YouTuber. This is my profession. Closest thing I have to one, right now. Well, I I, I don't know. Anyway, we should probably get going. Yes, indeed. Time for the one shot. Let's play episode. Hold on. Okay. All right. Need to get nice and close, nice and snug, next to the microphone. I think the audio mixing should be good. Um, maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. I, I don't really care. I just want my voice to be distinctly louder. Villagord, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Right. So I'm pretty sure I know what I have to do already because I've played this game like twice, maybe three times. I've watched Markiplier's entire Let's Play of this game. So after I played, I was like, "What did I? I wonder what Markiplier did." Because that was that was totally awesome. Still waiting for him to, um, you know. Anyway, yeah. All right. What? What's the? All right. So this is the situation. Metal rod. So we have a metal rod. We could take this. I think something we got to do with the metal rod. I believe we already talked to Profit Bot. Did all the dialogue there? Um, yes. So over here we need to crush the sun and and the game. Villagord, <laughs> I am not going to put the sun here. Okay. Put the metal rod in. Ah, uh, do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Dilagord? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Maybe I could... 
I could probably have it at this volume. Just a little bit below 30, and then I'm at 20. That should be good. That should probably be a little better. I don't... Ugh, look, man. I never said these videos were going to be professional. That's just how it is. It is what it is. Oh, who am I? Kidding. Acting like anyone who's watching this is actively critiquing the content. You can't just... I mean, you could, but... Like, how much of a point is there to that, really? Okay. Yes. Okay, alright. I think I... Yeah, I think I remember what I need to do now. Um... I think... I must have already gone over there. But did I check the cave? Was there something important in the cave that I missed? Wait. Okay. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Okay, alright. Yep, here's the gadget on the ground. Looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not, I don't know. That's one of the things I love about this world, the... It's just the environment is so perfect. It's the... It's like a dreadful... Acceptance and sort of apathy of all the characters. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out. Okay. Done. Yes, I... I don't know, the world building here is really cool. It's really great. It reminds me of... Oh yeah, I can see a faint yellow gl glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Don't want to fall in. I used to... Th I probably said this in the last episode. First time I played this game, I thought you could just die. <laughs> you only have one shot, and then you just, you just die. You just throw it away. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can, but for you it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead, anyway? A huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. Uh, this is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Well, if it's non-phosphor based, isn't that like literally the only way? Even the robots have all been have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. Do be careful in here. Okay. Well. Ready to leave. Maybe I'll turn down the volume a little bit, just in case. Mm hmm Alright. Time to leave. Time to get going. It's difficult because, like, sometimes... There. Alright, that might be good. <laughs> Audio is just gonna fluctuate all over the place. It should still just be, like, really quiet, and but... Barely audible, I think. I still don't have the gas mask. I'm so stupid. Look like there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe, of course. I need to get the gas mask. Gillagord one shot. Let's play. I already know everything that happens. <laughs> it essentially it essentially subtract subtracts any substance this would have otherwise had. No. No, 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 no.
It's all invaluable. Its value is beyond any currency, beyond any, beyond anything. It's just crazy, like, can't even... Right, so in here there's this computer. It won't turn on. You need power. And so over here, box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Well, Nico, now you do. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Sorry, I can't do voices. I need to do an Undertale Let's Play as well as an Omori one. An actual Omori Let's Play, not like the ones I was doing before where it's like a bunch of different things, like the one hour first part of the game. Like an actual Amori Let's Play, probably one for both of the routes, I don't know. I want to do an Undertale Let's Play. So many things that I want to do. I should probably get down to business to doing those instead of like wasting my time on the Roblox stuff. But of course, you know, I actually like to do the Roblox stuff. This stuff is also important. I need, I'm just doing this so that way like I can get... Oh shoot. That's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything though. There's a rectangle shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in there. What does this say? Dusty shelves. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. Isn't there a thing where, like, Nico can get shocked by touching one of them? Anyway, yeah. You use the lens on the broken battery. The lens pops right in. Uh, light bulb on the empty battery. We're using the sun directly on the battery. Would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Dilagord. Yes. That's me, Dilagord. Wise as ever. Ah, uh, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Probably right, because this is literally the sun. Probably able to operate all the way out here. Let's hope the charged battery does something. These guys have just insanely energy efficient stuff. Like, these guys, if we had this level of technology like anywhere close to this in like the real world that would be insane they're just powering like tons of robots with like a battery that's solar powered and charged by a sun that i can only imagine isn't very weak i mean isn't very strong so rapidly so they must just have like incredible power efficiency like I, I'm at, I can't imagine that's a ton of power or or if it is then that's just crazy that they can manage to do that it's like the absolutely insane like sad crazy sci-fi world page with faded ink able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area maintenance efforts are quite high as expected we have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific in other words these small cells can only charge one single so i imagine this is like that this is just to power like one robot. Probably that robot lady. I am functional. I can walk the boop robot. One robot may not injure a living person or through interaction allow a person to come to harm. Robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. 
Oh yeah, here's the awesome world, map of the world. There's the barrens, the glen, the refuge. Tower. Tower is totally awesome. It's kind of crazy though how it just like goes up. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did. Right, Dillagord? Yes. Use of a robot as a replacement head, en head engineer seems unorthodox, especially for the last responsible especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing, management. Yeah, there's tons of tons of lore. Rated post for rarest form of blue phosphor. Reminder to all workers, rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will have a dispatch har we will dispatch the harvest team ASAP. I see you have made progress in this world, Dilagord, but that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Oh, there's a pop-up window. Do you understand what this means, Dilagord? I think I think of this like the like the saw guy. <laughs> yes. Good. Start looking. The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place. It belongs outside the game. Do you know where to find documents, Dilagord? No. Don't you know that there's a designated place for documents on your own machine? Some god you are. It's really funny. He gets all he gets all um like it's a lot of attitude. Anyway, yeah. You can look here, document dot one shot dot text. Okay, alright, here. All right, let me just add a window capture text. All right, there we go. Here's what it says. So it says, Dear, dear person, Dillagord, uh, this is, this is, uh, something message to you and i'm afraid i must make it brief brief i've left you a journal which is part of which is written in a language that you will not understand at first however on uh, and read it and you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask. Uh, because blah blah, you will need it. Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is 101562. Okay, alright, let me just go like this. Uh, yeah, let me just like, um, yeah, let's just get that out of here. All right, there we go. Back to one shot. <laughs> Back to the game. So let's see here. The document. Yes. Good start looking. Okay, I found the document. So I assume now I just kind of got to leave. Did I check this poster yet? Get a poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Okay. Hello, Prophet Bot. Hello again. Are there more questions you should ask now? Alright, thank you. In that case, I wish you safe travels. Alright. 
Gotta go fast. Get the gas mask from the safe. Yes, and then we can access the additional area. Metal safe. It seems like it's locked with a six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. Do you, Dillagord? One, zero, one, five, six, two. There we go. Turn that down perhaps a little. Whoa, it worked. Sound mixing. Actively editing the video as I'm making it with OBS. Wait, how did you know the code, Dillagord? I still don't remember seeing one. I have my ways. I see. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let me see. Oh, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can read or anything. Not that I can't read or anything. I just don't know what language this is. I, I didn't read that. Sorry. I'm going rapidly. Oh, my gosh. The thing. What is that? I don't know what that is. Actually, well, I do know what it is, but no spoilers. I wouldn't spoil. What's this? I will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. This game's so dark. Suicide note, just in the middle of nowhere. Depressing. Right, yes, the gas mask. I got it. So now, time to move on to the gas area. I need to get to the next area. I need to get to the area with a bed at it, so that way I can... I should be fine with this mask on. You have to... Go... Oh, sheesh, you have to go really far in order to actually... All right, gas mask. Let's go in here. A pair of rubber gloves, they're a bit heavy. This seems to be a page ripped out of book. Can I... Sorry, I just had to crack my back real quick there. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here's a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed. In the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Okay. Alright. Uh, reagents, acidic gas, blue, phos blue phosphor rare form, in a well ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice, seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Good thing I kept this crowbar. Break in there. What a workout. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Hello, person. Robot assembly. Assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barons. If you have further inquiry, please, please contact the head engineer. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. The elements begin to separate. Further shaking is required. Also, note hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Dillagord. Yes, it's me, Dillagord. Skilled gamer. Wise in the ways of chemicals. Clean sponge with a rough surface. Bunch of robots without power. I guess the only, I guess the generator can only do so much. Yeah, but there's still a good number of, there's still like a large number of, seems to be a page ripped out of, yeah, well, I already know that. What does this guy have to say? Hello person, the robot is, okay, yeah.
So cool. I was playing the original one shot. I kind of lost because, you know, uh, I think. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, there's something weird about the robots who got sent who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? Alright, empty bottle. Right, so I know what has to be done. Uh, get out the empty bottle for future use. Need to find a gas thing to get the gas into the bottle, seal it up, and then... Oh, here's a robot. Oh, hello, what are you doing here, hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place a long time ago. Oh, but I just got here to this world, I mean, see? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you is not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. All right, what's in this building? Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense, no point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to. Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. So they said it was to do to something with squares. I'm not sure what they meant by that. That must be, that's probably the squares we saw. Bummer, looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate, and we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the rowboats are busy enough with transporting people as it is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. It's really... I really like how, like, you just find all these notes everywhere. And it's just like this... Oh, it's another one of these small machines I can feel. Small machines. Yes, okay. Need to go into a different building. This one. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Down. Honey shrimp are swimming in this jar. Wait, what about the ladder? I'm scared of ladders. Okay, it just does it again. I don't want to do that anymore. Nothing is different, then I don't want to do it again. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you to room until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? Let's go in here. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not a not at a significant rate. Time will tell. All these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Alright. Oh, there's no gas mask up here. But what's this? A picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Dilligord. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Yeah. Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. I like this one. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, ahem. Beep, boop. I'm a robot and I eat, berries in s eat batteries instead of normal people food. 
<laughs> that is not correct. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Billy Lord, you made me look silly. That's terrible. That's too bad. Anyway. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan deplete, scan, scan complete, injuries detected, none, treatment required, none, you are good to go. Uh, thanks. Box of medical tools, most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. A person you are seeking admission to the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. This guy just woke up from eternal slumber being shut off and then just starts messing around with like that thing. Hey sweetie, six more weeks till you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful collapsible wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon, love mom. Ah. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. The author. The best author in the world. The author. Evacuation at such short notice. I can't believe this. First the sun dies. Now I'm out of a job. <laughs> Some sort of mechanical drawing. Oh shoot. The sun's... Ah, the sun's just disappeared. Robot, it's beyond repair. The sun's just disappeared. This is surely going to negatively impact the, the economy. This is surely going to have a very terrible impact on the economy. It's... <laughs> Want me to put the gas in the bottle, Dilagord? That ought to do it. Okay. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems like a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that phosphor shrimp were in the crater, in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. It's just great. I, got, I love the world building. I love good world building, you know? It's like a good... Like, there's like a good environment, a good world. Like, it, it feels... Alive. So we're filling up the syringe, Dilagord. I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. Okay. Like that. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Dilagord? Like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. All right, so now, now I'm pretty sure I just need to take this over to the robot and clean up the robot. I don't think I've actually like checked this robot before, so I wonder what happens if I... I'll wear them when I have to. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge, Dilogord. Good thing I have these gloves. I hope this works. Oh, you could just clean the robot. And it's... Did I check that before? Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Dilogord helped me, but yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? 
Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Dillagordon and I will find a way to help you. Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. <laughs> so it doesn't have different dialogue if you are, if you try to use the sponge on it before talking to the robot. After turning on the generator, it just goes through with it, and then you have to do both sections of dialogue. That's cool. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating closest destination the tower is the Glen port number. My built-in navigation circuits has fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I can I cannot follow my programming. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. All right, talk to the engineer, I guess. I think I'm going to finish recording this and then upload it immediately after because I'm not. But this is good top-notch footage. Top-notch Dillagord video material right here. Hmm. I have like a um, bit of throat pain because, you know, I'm not used to talking this much. <sighs> Alright. Oh, gosh, isn't there fast travel? Yeah, there is. Uh, lookout point. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright, what is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Dillagord and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. I like these, I like these, like, um... Like, uh... Frames there. It's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Sigh, I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. What? Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you. Bringer of light. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah, well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Then will you come play a game with me? Shh. I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Uh, so what's it like being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots and they all say something about programming code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little harder to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where? I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse, knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a di the world may be a very different place now, because the sun is gone. No, I said this already, didn't I? So the sun probably won't save our wor world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. There, there's nothing I can do. Turn up the volume maybe a little bit. There we go. Nice music. Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. 
In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. Alright, I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Uh, thank you also. This game is so sad. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start tearing up. Dear Silver, I heard about the news in the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but it's, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the rowboats are called. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I just got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell, it keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Off you go, there's no reason for you to linger in the Barrens. That is true. Alright, travel, fast travel to the docks, I believe. It's nice. If only I had used fast travel before, maybe I could have shortened this let's play time, but maybe it's best that it's on the longer side. Anyway. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the mine entrance. I would have given you the coordinates, but... Here's the amber. Dot dot dot. Oh! This is an- This is amber from the glen. I can remember now, activating tracking system. Setting goes. Wait, this boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh, well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore or this gas mask and gloves. Dumping stuff in the ocean. <laughs> Pollution. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Jeez. Just got such a it's just got such a cool aesthetic, you know? Should have like warned people at the beginning of the video like go buy one shot and play it it's a great deal sometimes it's on sale on steam for like five dollars or something i don't know one of the best games that you can buy it's not that long but it's it's really good there's your stop the glen it's so good that you could like play it over again even though nothing changes it's like rewatching a television show or a movie there should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes, I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. It's really something special when you show up here for the first time. And there's no music, no sound. This area has some of the nice... All the music in this game is like really good at setting the vibe, you know? There's the tower ever looming in the distance. There's the flooded... The dead trees. one of many things that I was skeptical on at first sight like I thought I saw this and I was like wow that's probably cringe but you know uh, I've learned since then you should never judge a book by its cover Because if you do that, then you're going to end up uh, in a kind of a bad situation of like not seeing like a ton of cool stuff. Because imagine if like I saw one shot and I was like, ah, oh, that looks, that game looks kind of, that's kind of cringe, bro. And then I just never played it. That would have been terrible. Luckily, that didn't happen. Luckily, I'm playing one shot for I believe the third time now, maybe. As a let's play. Alula, where did you- Alula, where did you go? Diligord, did you hear that? 
Alula. I think it's coming from southeast of here. Southeast. Oh. What's this guy doing? This is the best fishing spot I've found yet. All the fish I catch here are longer than my arm. That's good. These guys are fun. Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a bit shorter than you and... Wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? I... yeah? Oh, my stars. Sorry for my rudeness. Huh? It's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister, she's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but what does she look like? Um, a little shorter than you, long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where's the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. That's... Are you from the village? No, I don't remember why, but our father left the village while we were still young. We have lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just Lula and I now. I can't lose her too. Just stuff like that. I just love it. It's just a great, nice, fine... It's like a... Like all these people have so little hope. It's just, it's just really, really like building like the uh it's it's just really a great job of like setting the mood setting the environment with the music with the ambient effects like the fireflies in this forest and like the chopped down trees that also like generally look kind of spooky and the mossy worn down robots the ruins you know the sun, you're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name on the scroll first. All right. You have a pen? Um, no. I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. All right. So I have an idea, right? I need to get something first. I remember what a sample collection in progress. Yes, that's, yeah, 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 that's what I was after. Alright, so somewhere around here. Nah, not there. Maybe like this way? Probably, yeah, down here. I'm pretty sure down here is where you need to go. There's something important, something specific. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No? Oh, carry on then. Alright. So, robots. How come you're red instead of green? That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, more of a purple than red. But both of your eyes and stuff are red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. I see. I am in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. Go here. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the glen. Ooh, Diligord and I actually fixed one of these earlier in that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right, you guys already have power and all. Oh yeah, another thing I love about this game, the trailer. It's great. The entire thing's really nice. It's like, kind of like Piku Niku, except this game's like more, I don't know, full. It's not like a more like when I got Amori, I was expect, like I played one shot and then I immediately played Amori right afterwards. So like, one shot was, don't get me one wrong, one shot was really good, but like when I played Amori, it was kind of, it was kind of maddening because like the game that game is like way way longer if you like play it like a steady pace instead of like and you don't like rush through stuff beep boop water collection project resuming because yeah this game's not that long like this is probably going to be like episode two of like five or something 
maybe like two of like ten or yeah, yeah. There's not a ton that needs to be done here. Amori's not that long either. Mostly split up into like I don't know thirds. I'd say different lengths of thirds though. Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um, my programming says that organic beings need water to survive, so I shall offer it to you. Oh, uh, sure, we'll take it. I really like the face portraits. They add a lot. It's one of my favorite things about these RPG Maker games. Monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly? Well, yeah, but... Yes. This game is quite poggers. This area is quite poggers. Maybe I didn't say this yet. There was this one time when I was playing this other game on Roblox. I'm an avid Roblox player. I play all kinds of games on Roblox. I've made some of my own that you can play. There's also a lot of actually like slightly more playable ones that like aren't just a bunch of assets that I grabbed off of the off of the toolbox and shoved into a worthless place that doesn't need security anyway. Basically, like, I, like, you know, I used to make, like, a bunch of games where I just throw in, throw in a bunch of stuff, throw in a bunch of garbage. But now I've started making, started working on actual, like, games, right? The doorway is full of vines, Dilagord. Yep, yeah, I know. This sucks. We have a tube of water. Label says water sample. Great. The water sample is optional. You only have one shot. Hello, person. Please do not move. Please do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Like how those children were doing. They were living here. It's not recommended. There's water all over the place and they're gonna get flooded. Fine, so I assume I can't go there. Actually, I know I can't go there because I already played the game, but blah blah blah. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna act like I didn't. Here's the computer. Hello again, Dilagord. Okay, alright, hold on. Let me get this stuff set up. Okay, all right, so here, let me add. All right, so basically what's happening here, right? There's, um, hold on. Taskbar settings. Eh, it doesn't matter. So basically there's just like the pattern on the background here. I'll just like... I'll, I'll just... Here, hold on. Pause the video. Alright, so basically if you look here you can kind of see that I have like... That's, that's basically more or less what the desktop is. It's set my desktop background to be this... Uh, to be this, basically. Um, yes, I disabled all my desktop icons. Well, actually, I don't think I needed to, but I re-enabled them again. I just don't want to show off my desktop so that way you guys can't see all my personal files. Like, uh, RimWorld shortcut. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't want you guys seeing my epic Zombitar. Very personal. I need your help again. Neek will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need to access has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you, do you see it? No. I know you're not exactly that bright for a god, Dilagor, but that shouldn't be. Th this shouldn't be difficult. Just poke around a bit. It really isn't hard to miss. Alright, thanks. What do I do with it? Still haven't figured it out. You remember the document, correct? This time, it's even more obvious. <clears throat> Actually, I have a dynamic background screen so I get 
Oh, okay. So basically, like, maybe I'll just, I don't know, where, should, where could this go? We could just go like that. There we go. This is the most easily accessible place on your screen. All right, now I can see a clear border. There we go. All right, now everything should be in order. Time to do this, time to solve the puzzle. Whatever puzzle it is. Go down, go down, go to the place, let's go. Let's do the thing. Here is the two children reside near here. Hello, person. Set them out of order. The pathway is blocked by blocks. All right. Uh, go down this way. This is one of my favorite areas as well. It's really great. This game is pretty good. I'll just run along here. There's a nice border. Savior? I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could... It's okay. It's okay. It's too late for me. But the sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I... Will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I, well, oh, would it, would it be too selfish of me to ask? What should I do, Diligord? Here for the sun. Here. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. This is another fun part of the game. Like, it's crazy how well, how like perfect this game is, right? Like, you get to experience what the world's like without the sun, what everyone else lives through all the time. Because you have that sun normally. You're used to having that extra glow, but now you have to go through here without the sun, so you see how dark and sad it is. Also, that whole area right there, you can tell that person is like. Kind of lost all hope the sun's only a mere a mere glimmer just just like a mere tiny speck of hope oh the vines should be gone by now okay well hmm. this is a particularly long episode this time here i might go get I think I'm going to save the game here. All right, I'm gonna go over here. I think I can. Yes, I can, I th think, yeah. Okay, I'm a little tired from walking. Is it all right if I take a nap? Uh. Yes. Yes, it is. Alright, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to absolutely obliterate that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you watched the entire one hour long one shot Diligord video, please comment in the comments section below saying that you actually watched the entire video if you did. And then I'll check my YouTube statistics to see if you're telling the truth or not. Yep. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. Maybe I'll just keep talking to try and like, you know, fake out people who, who want to mess around, skip to the end. See if anything super interesting is happening at the end. No, it's just me talking again. It's like, like that one time when I did that speed run for... Get a snack at 4am. That's a great game. That's another great game. I love 
that game because it draws from one shot and it it's just I wish I could make a Roblox game that great. I'm trying to make Roblox games, but but none of them have been good enough to release yet. Well, finished enough to release yet, that is. All of them are good. They're not done, though. Many of them have been abandoned. One time I wanted to make like an RPG style thing, something kind of like Rogue Lineage. Different like a goblin basically like you spawn in and your character's got like stuff you can upgrade blah 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 it's really cool another one was just a cash grab simulator game using a bunch of stolen assets and stuff let me check here actually let me check and see on my roblox account let's see let's check dillacorp the greatest group in the world there's one game that's under development. There's two main games. Alright, there's President Simulator, which was going to just be President Simulator, right? It's like a simulator. It's like a tycoon, kind of. Then there's Dillacorp Game 2. God knows what that is. Because I sure don't. Drakazoria OG Test, which is like the original one. And there's free for all battle test, which was like a free for all battle test where I wanted to set up like a free for all battle game, but that didn't turn out very well because I got kind of bored after a little while of doing. It's really easy to get bored of like making a Roblox game. You have to, I, it's difficult to come up with like a game that's good, that's like fun to develop and fun to actually play, right? You have to do like really silly stuff. Anyway, probably like my most developed game that I've done at least is Drake Azoria. Lobby is completely like, well, it's not completely done, but it's like pretty good. And then I need to, that, that's like mostly a personal project. Drake Azoria, it's the new one. Drake Azoria was originally going to be the RPG, but now it's, now the plan I have for it is for it to be more like a story centric game. with that that's going to be like exciting and there's city of grounds which is like hardly a game it's like city of grounds is kind of it's kind of like an empty void uh it's kind of it's just a big field with a with a house in it uh there's another one called Miachurak. came up with that one from like random fantasy name generator or something uh, yeah, and so basically the idea behind that is it's kind of like surreal, kind of like a Mugen game, one of those, you know. Then there's then there's the newest one which I can't tell you about. I mean, Miachu Rack, you can I tell you about that one and like you still can't really. Like, it's, it's not super, like, it's private. Like, I'm pretty sure you need a link to get to it. And even then, like, it's difficult to, like, decipher what it's, what the whole idea behind it is. Like, you couldn't, basically the whole idea is I'm trying to keep these things kind of under wraps until, like, I can actually make them. And, like, until they're in a releasable state. That way, like, other people won't just be able to swoop in and steal my entire game right under my nose and then develop it and make it better and stuff I mean that would be kind of cool but of course I want to control my own game cool if like someone else showed up and developed it but of course for these games at least you know Drakazoria and Miachurak are like my children anyway yeah that's about it thanks for watching Listen for the extra five-minute podcast segment. Uh, don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below saying, more Dillacord podcast segment, please. Yep, thanks for watching. Listening. Thank you. Bye.